Many people who live in Dodge County or used to are shocked at what has been mailed to them recently. The district court is sending out letters notifying people of costs due from cases as far back as 1997. Three News Now investigator Aaron Hagerty dug into the claims. Here's what he found. Pete Stahl went to court in Dodge County in 2000 and again in 2007. Facing charges for drunk driving and drugs, he says he's already served his time. I'm thinking everything's fine. Then I get this stuff. In June, he was sent this notice of payment due for $458 in court costs and fines due from his 2000 case. It lists a deadline of December 1st, for a hearing might be called. This is 2021 and they want something from me 20 years ago? Wait a minute, I don't even have those receipts anymore. Oh yeah, I kept those receipts religiously. He isn't the only one to receive a letter. The district court clerk says they're working to collect nearly $85,000 due from earlier than 2010. Not everyone receiving these notices are sure if they had paid or not. I don't remember 10 years ago, let alone 23 years ago, you know. Rod Poole was sentenced to time for drug charges in both 1998 and 2008. The court records show he still owes more than $200 between the two cases. And all I can say is, you know, I'm already paying for my addictions from in the past just with my health and everything. I'm on disability now and there ain't no way I'm going to be able to pay this. It, it makes me feel like I'm reliving my past, being forced to relive the worst years of my life, you know. I don't want to, I'm done with that. So why now? Clerk Linda Nelson did not agree to an on-camera interview but sent this via email. It says in part, as the amount of money due to Dodge County continued to grow over the years, Judge Hall and I had discussed the possibility of sending out notices of payment due. We thought we would try and see how it worked. She says she started sending out letters at random, looking for the correct address. She writes, we are a very small office, have only three of us working full time. Pete says he went to the Dodge County Courthouse to verify the validity of his letter. There, he was handed another one. They totaled nearly $1,100. Well, she brought me this paperwork, which is two court cases that the fines had never been paid on, that I know the fines were paid on. We asked Patrick Borchers, a professor at the Creighton Law School and a former dean, to weigh in. I thought they probably, um, probably ought to get on this uh, without waiting a quarter century or so. He says people could be jailed if they ignore the letter and they don't attend a hearing for that reason. He suggests people pay if they can. There's an old saying we lawyers have, which is you can't get blood out of a turnip. So um, if, if people really don't have the money, it's, it's going to be a difficult proposition for uh, the county to collect any substantial amount. You can't squeeze blood out of a turnip. I'm not going to Dodge County. They can kiss my grits. I, I don't care. He sent the court a letter. He argues he made a trip to the courthouse before he moved to Omaha. Confirmed there was no additional costs or fines that remained outstanding. I confirmed that at the courthouse. So no payments will be made that pertain to these two cases. Then after we interviewed Pete, he received what appears to be the court's response, a notice to appear September 10th. He now says he'll be there. Clerk Nelson says people who can't pay should call to work with her on a payment plan. For example, one individual is paying $25 a month until September 2023. She says Dodge County taxpayers bear the cost. They should be repaid, as the county is budgeting twenty dollars a year to cover court costs. She says the county is responsible for paying most court costs to the state, regardless of if the defendant pays. So when they are paid, the county is getting reimbursed. If not, they eat the cost and fines handed down by the court usually go to the county too. Danielle Conrad, executive director of the ACLU Nebraska, says this is an example of why the ACLU is concerned about what it calls taxation by citation. And local governments and state governments relying more and more and more on costs and fines and fees instead of general revenues um, to deal with the many important obligations of government. We have talked to people who say they will pay, but Pete says it's not happening. I'm on a fixed income. There's no way. I, it ain't happening. I'm not paying the $1,100 twice. Aaron Hagerty, 3 News Now. The Dodge County District Clerk said they're working to collect nearly $200,000.
So far this year, they've collected 24,000. If you have a story idea for our investigative team, email us at investigate at 3newsnow.com.